In layman's terms, flanging is the effect achieved by copying an audio signal, then playing the copy alongside the original with a very slight delay. We're talking milliseconds. What happens to the sound then is called comb filtering, where some frequencies experience phase cancellation and the remaining frequencies sum together, making them louder. Flanging is a modulation effect, and the modulation is achieved by varying the length of the delay, which changes what frequencies are being cancelled or summed. This creates a characteristic sweeping effect somewhere between chorus and phasing. Karl Martin released this Axis Flanger on the 14th of December 2022, and they've sent me this unit to check out for the video. But the video isn't sponsored, and any opinions are my own. So what have we got here? It's an interesting enclosure with this kind of wraparound beveled metal top, and bonus, it's all top jacks, which I'm a big fan of. I've not seen this type of enclosure before, and honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing it more. Plus, it's in this cool metallic purple color. You've got four knobs, an LED, and a really nice foot switch. Um, so far, so good, but what really matters is what it sounds like. For the first clip, I'm running the axis plunger after my drive pedals, which is where a lot of people run their modulations. I'm going to play a lot of classic stuff here. I don't often have the opportunity to plug in a flanger, but when I do, I tend to jam out those tracks that come to mind when you think of that unique swirling sound. What's interesting is that not all of those tracks have a flanger on them, but you can get close to all of those sounds with a flanger because it's such a versatile effect. The controls on the pedal are for speed, depth, pre-delay, and feedback. You don't have a level setting here, the pedal stays at unity gain when engaged, you don't get any volume drops or boosts. So speed is the rate of modulation, depth is the ratio of effect to clean signal, pre-delay is the range of delay between the clean and affected signals, and feedback is the amount of signal that gets sent back through the pedal's sweep filter. The higher the feedback is, the more you hear that characteristic soaring jets flanger sound. If you turn feedback and pre-delay all the way up, you can actually make the pedal self-oscillate, which gives you some crazy air raid siren type sounds. The signal chain today is my custom-built Fender Telecaster with bare knuckle pile drivers through the Frederick FX Zombie Clone, the Full Tone OCD, and the Strymon Timeline into my new old Fender 59 Bassman. The Bassman is running almost clean and sounds incredible, look out for a video on that one soon. Now let's hear the Axis Flanger first in the chain. A really cool trick to try, some of you guys might not know, is to run modulations before your gain pedals and see what the distortion does with all that extra harmonic information. Stick on some delay and you can get really creative with it. So the pedal can get pretty crazy, but I think one of my favorite ways to use it is as a kind of more better clean sound that adds this kind of breathy, whispery, crystalline thing to your sound. I love subtle modulations like that where you don't even know they're on until you turn them off. It's real secret weapon stuff. Check it out.
So thanks to you guys for checking out the video and thanks to Carl Martin for sending me the Axis Flanger. It's a really great little pedal and I love it. I'll see you next time.